It was a sunny Friday afternoon, a lovely day for a stroll when suddenly my phone started going off with notifications. The headline that caught my eye was nothing short of shocking. Sam Altman fired from OpenAI. What? Sam Altman, the bold leader who was well on his way to being the CEO of the year, if not the decade. Sam Altman, who took a fledgling startup to the peak of AI dominance and innovation? This was the man who every business admired, who had leaped up to and stood at the pinnacle of AI technology, suddenly and unceremoniously dumped. And on a Friday afternoon, is there a worse time to get fired? I could only ask myself one thing. Now what? What happens to ChatGPT? Will I lose my Plus subscription? What about OpenAI, their employees, their investors, the thousands of businesses that have come to depend on their products? Today's special edition takes a look at this shocking turn of events in the world of AI. Most of all, we look at what this does to OpenAI and the world of AI in general. Is OpenAI done for? Is the world of AI now going to belong to Microsoft, Google, and other giants? Welcome to AI Nexus. I'm Alex Shepard, and let's dive into this madness together. It's a few minutes after finding out that Sam Altman had been fired. The internet was ablaze with theories. Was it a hidden discovery of AGI that Altman did not want to keep secret? Did Elon Musk and his Grok-supporting cohort have a hand in this? His dislike for OpenAI's ways of late was not exactly a secret. Some even speculated that Altman had been replaced by an AI or engaged in serious wrongdoing. Implausible. OpenAI's statement about transparency and sincerity issues only added fuel to the fire. What did he do? Why would they not say anything? This roller coaster didn't stop over the weekend, with Altman seen at OpenAI's headquarters wearing a visitor's badge on Sunday, sparking rumors of his possible return. His tweet with a picture of the badge saying, first and last time I ever wear one of these, only added more mystery. Is he never coming back as a guest? As in, he'll be back as CEO again? Or will he never be back there at OpenAI HQ again? By Monday, the saga took another twist. Sam Altman had joined forces with Microsoft, forming part of a special yet-to-be-defined AI team. This move is monumental for Microsoft and the tech world at large. Again, the internets were on fire. Some pundits on Twitter were saying that Satya Nadella from Microsoft was the world's greatest genius. He'd managed to acquire OpenAI and all their talent for free. There's no doubt that under Satya Nadella's leadership, Microsoft has become a front-runner in AI, investing heavily in OpenAI. Now, with Altman potentially on board, they're poised to leverage his expertise, leadership, and vision, and potentially attract a wave of talent from OpenAI. This is not just a win for Microsoft, it's a seismic shift in the AI landscape. For the AI community, especially those rooting for independent ventures, this news is bittersweet. Then, in the late hours of Tuesday night, more drama. Altman to return to OpenAI as CEO, read the headlines. It seemed like the impossible became possible. What absolute madness, right? But even though it seemed like they put the golden egg back together again, things will probably never be the same. OpenAI's rise symbolized the potential for new players in the AI domain, but Altman's move to Microsoft implies a consolidation of power within the tech giants. I've mentioned in previous videos Microsoft's plan to integrate AI into its suite of products, and this development will undoubtedly accelerate that vision, possibly directing the future of AI towards a more Microsoft-centric ecosystem. Now, earlier, I said I would talk about what this might do to OpenAI. OpenAI was born out of a nonprofit founded by Altman, Greg Bachman, Elon Musk, and Ilya Sutskever, among others. It was made as a branch of the nonprofit, a separate, unique, capped profit hybrid, which left it in a bit of a limbo about what it was supposed to be. Whatever the case, OpenAI became a darling of the tech community. It was a company founded on principles of safety and ethical boundaries. Some even criticized its star product, ChatGPT, for being too vanilla, but it did represent the possibilities of human technological achievement. The company managed to build a product with over 180 million users that was truly disruptive across industries in ChatGPT. What was amazing was that it came from a new company. Yes, a well-funded one, but a new one that emerged outside the immense ecosystem of large corporations. That was, if anything, hopeful. It showed that AI could still remain in the realm of dreamers and hardworking, intelligent people with a vision. Nevertheless, there were many issues under the hood. Previous infighting led to founders splitting. Elon Musk is one example, who took off in 2018, supposedly because he was not happy with the decision to pursue a for-profit branch of the nonprofit. Of course, we all know that he started his own AI venture, XAI, in 2023. 
Another former executive, Dario Amode, parted ways with OpenAI in 2021 and started his own AI company, Anthropic. Their main product, Claude, has mounted a serious challenge to ChatGPT. So as you can see, things were never perfect in the OpenAI world, but never were they as imperfect as they are now. After firing Altman, the board appointed Mira Marathi, the company's CTO, as interim CEO. Barely a day later, the board ousted her and placed former Twitch CEO Emmett Shear, a move that she and others were not happy about, to say the least. The future has never seemed more up in the air than now. On Monday, an open letter started circulating on social media in which nearly 90% of OpenAI's employees were saying they would quit if OpenAI didn't bring Altman back. Meanwhile, Ilya Sitskever, the architect of Altman's demise, has done an about-face and wants him back. And what do you think they did? Well, they brought him back. With Altman now back, a new board is also being implemented, and things will never be the same. Not least, because now it is clear that Sam is going to be the one in charge, not the board, and OpenAI appears to be willing to silence the AI pessimists who wanted to slow things down. You might recall that there were several members of the AI board that went against Altman. Adam D'Angelo was one of the conspirators, with some citing his potential conflict of interest. As Quora's CEO, he had made statements of concern about AI bots having a negative impact on the internet. Meanwhile, members such as Helen Toner and Tasha McCauley did not fit the profile of corporate board members. McCauley seems to be best known for being a somewhat known actor's wife, while Toner is an academic for a non-profit think tank. Tensions between Toner and Altman were apparently very high. Now that there is a more corporate-oriented board in place, there seems little doubt that OpenAI will go forward without the same resistance that led to this situation. This is good for OpenAI, but how that impacts AI in general is another question. There is some hope in this situation for AI. OpenAI, despite its shortcomings, demonstrated the sheer force of unfettered innovation. It's a testament to what startups can achieve in democratizing technology and making it accessible for all kinds of people. A few months ago, most people had no idea about anything AI related. Today, people without previous coding experience are making GPTs, generating images, and using ChatGPT to supercharge their work. The meteoric rise of this company and their products has been both empowering and inspiring. If anything, this situation will make it clear that companies will continue to prioritize advancing AI and make safeguards a more corporate question. Maybe this is madness and will just lead to companies going wild and dangerous with their AI creations. On the other hand, it might mean that regulation will have to come from governments and elected officials. Many have been arguing for the need to put centralized measures in place, and this whole OpenAI saga might be a catalyst for doing so. In summary, the OpenAI soap opera has raised vital questions about the future of AI. While it marks a significant victory for corporate AI development, it also signals a potential shift in the AI innovation landscape. We may now see AI companies do without academic thinkers and ethicists in its influential positions, and more people from the business world making decisions that could impact humanity. The bigger question is, will this move result in AI becoming more dangerous? Will companies now look solely for dominance and profits rather than safety? Certainly, we should all be concerned, especially as now we hear Altman's clearly stated intentions to make AGI a reality. AGI, or Artificial General Intelligence, could lead to self-learning AIs that can essentially figure out things the smartest humans can't, but in a fraction of the time. This can be scary, but at the same time promising. Pessimists say it might be the end of humanity, but optimists see it as the beginning of a new era, true golden age for humankind. Only time will tell what the outcome will be. Thanks for watching, and we hope you got something out of this. Still hungry for more? Well then you definitely need to check out this video.